Hey guys, I'm Ronnie, and today I will be comparing web browsers again. So, um, I'm really sorry for how late the video is, but I'm really filming because um, I screwed it up. So, I actually promised to do it by last Tuesday, and I did, um, but I decided it was too bad, so I deleted it. And um, for the last six days, I was on vacation, and um, you know, impossible to film. So now it's time. So uh, yeah, this is still chapter one, but part two. So chapter one is all about benchmarking of every browser, and part one, part two, part one stands for. Um, I mean, part one is done on the Windows platform. So the latest Windows platform in this uh, for stable releases. So in that case, in this case, is Windows 8.1 update, and um, for part two, it will be done on Mac OS X um, platforms. So in this case, the latest one is OS X Yosemite 10.10. .10. So yeah, chapter two will be about um, ease of use as well as customizability of each browser. So be subscribed for that, and hopefully that will be that will be available in a week. So yeah, let's start. Now uh, we're gonna use Peacekeeper to begin the test. So Peacekeeper, oops, don't use the button call. So yeah, look, we're gonna do it on all browsers. So we'll be back once it's done. Guys, so we're back now, okay. The scores improved a little bit since my last run, so now it was 4413 on Chrome. So all went fine, but uh, Firefox and Opera uh, lagged a, a lot. Well, what? Like very a lot? Lagged a lot. I don't know what, what happened. Anyway, lagged a lot during rendering, yeah. And the second score was 1991. Now. Yeah, all of them went better on the second time, uh, except for Safari 8. Um, the first attempt failed. Uh, it was stuck on the Doom tree, and uh, the second attempt was okay. It was passed, and the score was this one. So now, it, there is a reason that I didn't run um, the HTML5test.com test. I actually ran this one, but I didn't run it on video because the scores were basically identical because they are basically the same browsers. Um, yeah, so now uh, moving along is the speed test. So now we're going to go to www.speedtest.net again and I will be back once all of them are done. So, yeah. So, guys, now we're back. Now, I'm so sorry for how late it is again because uh, our network had a little bit of problem with it again. It was the fiber box, but um, yeah, now I fixed it, and um, I also set up two routers now. So, I mean, router two router, so extending on a gigabit port. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, he he had the results. So, wait, rank them. So rank um, rank uh, this one, and then. E2 to 5. Oh, yes, the dollar sign, of course. And here, I love to put it on both the sides because it's more, it seemed to be more stable. Now, yeah. So, yeah, um, as you can see, the Safari was the first place and uh, second place Firefox, followed by Opera and Chrome. I'm actually surprised why Chrome was the slowest. Um, but it had, it had the lowest ping time, so which is, well, really important for online gaming. So, if uh, I would suggest for online gaming, I would choose Chrome. And um, web browsing, I would perhaps choose Safari on a Mac, well, because that way, uh, actually, Safari is optimized for Mac um, for that kind of hardware and utilization of each. So, actually, I um, I would say uh, it's fair and it's reasonable that Safari 
won the race. So yeah, um, and Opera actually also did a great job. These two have extremely high ping times, which means they're actually, no, not actually extremely high, but relatively high. And um, when you play a game, um, it may, well, really make a big difference over time. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, like uh, any of our videos, I would say, well, that's the end of this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video, and um, we'll see you next time. And yeah, subscribe because part two is coming soon, and hopefully that won't be late. Um, yeah, and a Christmas shopping guide is coming soon. Um, Christmas holiday shopping guide. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and wait. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.